Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Hey, Michael. Guess where they asked Rick to do his comedy class? Go on. Belford Prison. Oh, that is hilarious. In prison. Good luck this afternoon. It'll be fine. Wish you well. They only go for the pretty ones. I thought that was a really encouraging start. It was mm. empowering. Part Great, of back off or I'll cut him. Calm down, Donald. Back off, I say. I think maybe do as he says. Anybody so much as touches this door without my say so, laughing boy gets it, right? Apologies for raising my voice. It's not a problem. I mean, ideally, you shouldn't really have to do any of this nonsense, but you know, it seems to be the only way you get any attention to your demands in this place, you know? It's fine. Aye. Right. So, have you been taken hostage before? Uh, uh, no, it's my first time. I... Let's just run through a few basics so we don't have any misunderstanings, uh, shall we? Sounds huh? like a good, um, uh, good idea to me. Right. No sudden movements, no heroics. Just sit tight, do as I say, and hopefully this whole unpleasant business will be over with. Got that? Ah, that'll be lockdown completed. Everybody has to go to their cells, you see? Yeah, it's a standard procedure in an emergency. Nothing to worry about. Uh, See, yeah. Uh, so how, how long, on average, would one of these th things last? A siege? Yeah, siege. Oh, it kind of depends, you know, there's so, so many different outcomes. What, what kind of outcomes, for example? All sorts. Some good, some not so good, you know? We don't want another Wandsworth on our hands, do we? <laughs> God, no. <laughs> The name's Innes. Donald Innes. I remember from the workshop. Donald to my friends. Not Don and not Donny. I don't like that. No, no. Donald is, is but I totally agree. My mother christened me Donald. I am called Donald. Absolutely. See, when I first came here, there was a screw. It was forever calling me Donny. That's, that's rude. Yes, isn't it? So I had to have a quiet word with him. I said to him, I said the name's Innes, but if you insist on first names, would you mind, please, calling me Donald? And not Donny. Fair enough. Yes. What did you do the very next day? I come out of my cell. I come onto the landing. There he is. Huge big grin in his face. Hello, Donny, he says. Oh, it's winding you up. I just went into a blur. Do you know that feeling? Do you ever have that feeling, right? When you just go into a wee blur. Next thing I know, I'm holding on to him and. What? Well, over the. Anyway, as I say, hopefully they'll have the good sense to listen to my demands and then we can all move on. Exactly. Yeah. Well, what are your demands, Don no, Donald, if you, if, you don't, if you don't mind me asking? No, no, I don't mind at all. No, of course you've got a right to know. You're the one being inconvenienced after all, aren't you? Oh, no, no, I, I'm not being... Uh, I, yeah, obviously I had a few other things to be getting on with. Yeah, I was going to go to the uh, garden centre. Uh, you were asking me about my demands? Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. What's happening is they are denying me my basic human rights. Oh, no, that's out of order. They are abusing my civil liberties. I hate that. When they do that, I don't like that. I do... I do a lot of work for... Ramnesty. Well, in that case, you understand what I'm going through. Totally. Of course. I do. They won't let me... They won't let me... I have a chest set in my cell. Oh, blimey. A chest set. That's what this is about? Yes. That, that is annoying. More than annoying, Rick. Oh, no, absolutely. No, I can see how that would drive you completely in... in to be angry. No, chest set, that's not right. They're afraid I might use it as a weapon. 
It's ridiculous. Maybe not, you know. You could maybe use it as a weapon. You see, you could maybe get a bishop and gouge out somebody's eye. True. Or you could get a couple of pawns and stick them up somebody's nose, you know. One up each nostril, hands behind the back, gaffer tape over the mouth, dead in two minutes. Yeah, I suppose it would. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it. And if it was a board, say it was a wooden board, you could just bang somebody over the head again and again and again. Couldn't you? But I wouldn't. You know why? Because it's against the rules of chess. And more importantly, it's against the spirit of the game. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. That's all my chess said. It's not as if I was trying to do clay pigeon shooting in the staff canteen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd stop looking at that knife, right? You know, it makes me kind of jumpy. Oh, God, sorry, no, no, I, did, I, did, I didn't mean to. I no, was just, hang just on. <sighs> Bit of action. <clears throat> Ooh, not a bad turnout. One, two, three, four police cars, a riot van, and two ambulances. That'll be one each. They'll maybe expecting the worst, eh? And uh, is that a paramedic I see with a mop in a bucket? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Are you expecting a phone call, Ray? Uh, not really, no. Oh, I suppose I'd better get it then. Hello, Belford Prison Library. How may I help you? Might be somebody with an overdue book. Hostage negotiator. No, no, I'm still here. I was just trying to guess which uh, esteemed seat of learning you attended. Was it Keele University? Oh, Loughborough. Sociology. Oh, criminology. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. No, you listen to me. I've got a much better idea. Uni boy. You run along and get me a very nice chess set and put it in my cell, or Laughing Boy here gets it. Right? And I want to guarantee there's no comeback from this. Yes, well, I'm trying to sound confrontational. Just run along and do it, right? Hostage negotiators. Been there, done that. So patronising. The wee calm voices that they've practised. If only they'd just agreed to give me a chess set to begin with, There'd be no need for this mess, would there? You're right, it would have been so much better. Yes. Oh. oh, here, next time it rings, why don't you answer it? Tell them I've popped out for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you like that? Yeah. <laughs> popped out for a few minutes. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Hey, you're laughing at the joke, are you? Yeah. yeah you're, you're not laughing at me, are you? No, oh God, no, definitely not. No, I wouldn't laugh at you. I was laughing at the joke because it, it was funny, but uh, there's no way would I do that because it was. Uh, oh. huh. So, did you like my routine? The, the, the workshop thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the uh, the bloke tied up in the boot of your car. Now, be honest, now, what do you think? I, I liked it. it. Wasn't too dark, no. No. Well, obviously it was dark, and, 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 and it got darker, but uh, that's, that's what made it funny. Yeah. I didn't see you laughing, though. Uh, no, but there's a, there's a reason for that. I have to be professional. I, I, I can't be seen to have a, a favourite. Ah. But uh, no, that was, it was good stuff. Uh, and you drove to Quick Fit to get the tyre changed, and the mechanic opened the boot and saw the bloke all tied up, and... Oh, obviously, you, you told it much better than I can, but it was very funny. <laughs> you know why it was funny? Um, because it's true. Oh, it was, it was true, it was it? Oh, you should see the big guy with a spanner, he shat his dungarees. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it was this now. Oh, no! They've called the fire brigade as well. Oh, what? Now I can feel pressure on myself, you know? I can feel pressure to start a fire in here. No, I, I really wouldn't see it like that. They're just covering all bases. I expect they have to. It's yeah. nice if, you know, I'm in prison because I'm an arsonist. You know, if I was an arsonist, a fire engine would make sense, it's wouldn't it? Quite. But I'm not an arsonist. No. <sighs> Bet you're dying to ask. What I'm in for? No, no, no. I didn't, didn't even. Well, I suppose it crossed my mind earlier, but no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Matters to me. 
I know. Why don't we play a, a game of 20 questions, right? You have to try and guess what I'm in for. Right? Go on, ask me a question. Oh, is, that, is this a good idea? Or... Yes, it is a good idea. 19 left. <laughs> um... Uh, uh, go on, go on. Did, sorry, did, uh, did, did it involve, um, uh, yeah, what's it, um, was it violence? Oh, Rick, you've disappointed me now. Why did you have to go straight to that? It's a stupid question. Just because I'm a Category A prisoner, people leap to conclusions. Forget I asked There's it. There's so I many other questions you could have asked me. How long ago? Where did you commit it? How many witnesses were there? Yes, it did involve violence. Next question. Come on. Were you framed? No, no, I was guilty. 17 left. Was, was it some, some sort of traffic thingy? Bingo. They put me away for life for parking on a zigzag line. Behave yourself. Three left. Three? Well, how many did you think? <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, yeah, it's three. Oh, uh, was it was it forgery? He's not going to get it, are you? I don't think so. No, no. No, I'm a businessman, Rick. Oh, oh, I see. Only my business happens to be Class A drugs and all the necessary activities that go with that. Right. You know? Just like any other business. Sure. Sometimes you just have to protect your interests. And I will not be undercut. No. I mean, say I opened a supermarket, and somebody opens a supermarket right next door, selling the same goods with much lower prices. What am I to do? Um, well, sometimes they do special offers. Yeah, two for one. I, I suppose you could bring your prices down a bit. Yes, I could do that. Or I could send somebody around with what I call a pricing gun. The pricing gun. A gun. Oh. I was just trying to extend the supermarket analogy, oh, see. you see. See, in the old days, everybody had their own patch. Never any trouble, well, hardly ever. People were straight with each other. Yeah. And then, all these new guys started muscling in. Saying one thing, doing another. Don't like people who lie to me, Rick. Uh, me neither. Where's the harm in telling the truth? Exactly, just tell the truth. If anybody lies to me... <whistles> the pricing gun. The pricing gun. <laughs> Do you like Lulu, Rick? What, the singer Lulu? Yes, Lulu the singer. Do you like her? Uh, yes, I, I, I hadn't really thought about it. Well, someone here has. So I've ripped the front off her book to take back to his cell. Oh, no. Really? It's a shame. It's nothing. I wish they were all like that. There's some right dirty bastards in here. I suspect there are. Fancy a book to read? No, I'm... Sure? But yeah. See how you're all on edge and I'm quite relaxed. Why is that, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe... No, I, I, I don't know. Time, that's what it is. See, you've never had to just sit down and pass time. You get very good at it in here. Just have to not think about it too much. Right. Uh -huh. That's why I'm after a chess set, you see? Yeah, I, I, I see you. I do wish you'd stop looking at that knife, Ray. Oh, uh, no, I, I wasn't. Hey, well, perfectly natural. But be realistic, what are you going to do? Make a grab for it? You're going to take me on? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Well, that window's locked, by the way. Aye, that one, the one you've been looking at. Find all the windows here are locked and barred. Tends to happen quite a lot in prisons. Sorry, I, I was just... Oh, just... what did I tell you? I couldn't wait any longer. Oh, hello, uni boy. Don't tell me there's a national shortage of chess sets. Oh, just shut up, will you? God almighty, you think I'd ask for a million quid in a helicopter out if you had the fuss you're making? Are you hungry, Rick? Ah, uh, uh, no, no, not really. Not fancy a pizza? Ah. Uh... Listen up, uni boy. I'd like a couple of pizzas if that's all right with you. And you know what's going to happen to Laughing Boy if it's not all right with you? I'm going to cut his ears off and staple them to a copy of Lulu's autobiography. 
Aye, see how many jobs you get as a hostage negotiator then. He's cacking himself. See? <laughs> right, get a pencil. What do you fancy? Uh, can I have a, uh, just a basic pizza? Uh, margarita. Margarita. Could you hang on just a second? We're in a very strong position here. We can get anything we want. You know, don't piss about with a margarita. Get some toppings, some garlic bread. What would you really like? Come on. Uh, I have a pepperoni. And? And pineapple. And? And uh, tandoori chicken. Uh, uh, tuna. And anchovies. All on the same pizza? Well, I'll not be sharing that with you. You're on your own. <laughs> right. I'd like one American hot with extra mushrooms, one create your own with uh, pepperoni, pineapple, tandoori chicken, tuna, and anchovies. Yes, all on the same pizza, obviously. Got a problem with that? Well, I'm not finished. I'd like a nice bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. And another thing, uni boy, I don't ever want to speak to you again. Next time this phone rings, it had better be the governor, or at least a grown up. Now piss off and get those pizzas. You married, Rick? Yeah. Slice. Well, no, not actually married. We decided. You're not married. To... No, we just live together. We, we prefer it that way. Yeah, see, I think that's a shame. Well, obviously, what I mean is, we are going to get married ne next year. Yeah, I thought you preferred not to be married. Yeah, but we are nonetheless going to get married. Whereabouts? Uh, locally. You see, when you give me answers like that, I'm thinking you're, you're making this up. No, I just... I'm trying to explain more fully. Uh -huh. Told you, Rick. I don't like people who lie to me. Sorry about that. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Know who wrote that? Yeah. It was... <laughs> Um, uh, so, so, yeah, thank you. Uh, Walter Scott. Yeah, Walter Scott. Scott. Yes. Yeah. So, do you like poetry, Rick? Yeah. Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Rabbi Burns? He's great, isn't he? <sighs> what is it you most like about him? Oh, you know his um, his use of language. Mm-hmm. What's your favourite poem of his? I... I prefer his earlier work, really. See, that sounds to me as if you're making it up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Name one poem. Like I say, I really do prefer his, his, his earlier work. Just one poem! You can, can you? No. Oh, you full of shite you are. Why did you not just say so? There's no shame in it. I only went to school till I was 13. I didn't know anything about poetry till I came in here. I had to fill my head with something. I told you, Rick. I don't like people who lie to me. Yes. Ah, Mr. Stevenson. Where the hell's those pizzas? You do realise in another five minutes we get a pound off? Uh-huh. Well, do you mind if we eat first and talk business later? Oh, and Mr. Stevenson? Seriously, no funny business. Thank you. That's the governor. Pathetic creature. Teetotal. Collects barometers. <laughs> so let's just run through this procedure one last time. We don't want any mistakes, do we? No. Quite. So, you will open the door, you'll have a knife at your throat, you will extend your arms thus and receive the pizzas. Got that? Go on. Have a drop of wine, Rick. Ah, no, I'm You've only had a wee thimbleful, sir. Really, thanks. Really? 
You'd think they'd have stretched the proper glasses under the circumstances, wouldn't you? Does he? I've got the same as that. No, I've got a bottle, I've got a knife. What am I going to do? Run riot with a crystal goblet? I don't think so. <laughs> like some nutter. <laughs> Stand back! I've got a wine glass and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> So what's it like with all that? Uh, uh, it's OK. I'm just not, I'm just not hungry. Thanks. Mind if I... Please do. Oh. Not bad. I thought with all that stuff it might be a bit, you know, I wasn't going to like it, but it's, it's OK. Mm. So, have you done any television then, Rick? Me? Yeah, yeah I've, done, I've done loads. Yeah? yeah. Do you think you ever might get your own show one day, you know, hit the big town? Uh, I, I, I have had my own TV show. Seriously? Because I've not been funny or anything, but um, nobody in here ahead of you. No, it, it was quite a while ago. Oh, so, so it was just the one series? Yeah. I, I didn't like the channel, and the channel didn't... didn't like, uh, we, we decided to go our separate ways, basically. Come on, Rick, get real, tell the truth, eh? If you were any good, and, and you, no, I'm not saying you're not, by the way, I'm not saying you're not, but if you were any good, you'd have made it by now, surely. No, it's not, it's not, it's not really, it doesn't really work like that. It's, it's complicated. How, how, how is it complicated? Oh, well, it's just, you know, you know basically when the, the people at the top, for whatever reason, have, have, have got it in for me. Oh. So it's the, it's the people at the top, it's their fault, that's why you've never made it? Pretty much, yeah. So it's a kind of conspiracy? Exactly, yeah. So who are these people at the top that are keeping you down? Oh, just, just people at the top, generally. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. This is important. Who are the people at the top? Well, the, the channel controllers. But who's controlling them, Rick? Think about it. Who's controlling everything? Everything? It's the... the, the government. They're just puppets higher. The Queen? Oh, um, America. Higher! Oh, God. No, no, uh, not God. I mean, not God. Is it Google? Not even close, Rick. Not even close. It's the shape shifting lizards. Oh. <sighs> I, 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 yeah, I was forgetting about them. There is an elite cabal of shape-shifting lizards who control every major government and every media network on the planet. Shape-shifting lizards? Yep. Yeah. That, that makes sense. I've been in touch with them. With the li lizards? I'm in communication with them 24-7, Rick. I don't really have to be here. I don't have to be here in this prison. I could walk straight through that wall and away any time I want to. But I don't, and you know why? Because the lizards have asked me to stay here and spy. You see? Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, uh -huh. and, and you do believe me, don't you, Rick? Definitely, yeah. yeah no, no, when you, when you put it like that, that that's, uh, it all makes sense. No, no, no. Why? Yeah. Why? You've lied to me. You've lied to me, haven't no, you? No, I, I do believe you. I do. Why did you believe all that shit about lizards are walking through walls, you stupid prick? I could tell from your eyes that you didn't believe me when I was telling you. Why didn't you say something? Why did you lie to me? Hey? Well, because you've got a razor blade taped to a bit of wood. And I haven't. Good point. It's not a level playing field, is it? I never thought of it that way. See, you told the truth there. That's a good thing. Isn't it? That's a good thing. That's, that's refreshing. It's good that you told the truth. I can see a whole new side of you now. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, what do you really think about me now that you've dropped the bullshit? Oh, can we talk about something else? No, we can't. I really want to know. Just tell me what you really think. You know, about what I do and the drugs and what have you. I don't know. You do. Oh, I suppose if I if I did the things that you did, selling the drugs and things, mm -hmm. it's not particularly nice. Might be a bit. Go on. 
I'd be ashamed. Good, good. You're being honest. You're absolutely right, of course, you know. Of course you're not. It's not a particularly pleasant thing to do. And a lot of people would be extremely ashamed. But here's the problem. What if deep, deep down, you really don't care? It still, it still doesn't make it right. That's good. That's good. Still being honest. Told me what you really thought. That's terrific. Really, really, really. You're all right, you are. You really are. You know, when you're telling the truth, you really are. You're being an honest guy. Spot on. So why, ask yourself, Rick, why do you tell so many lies? Why do you lie the whole time? I don't know. I suppose... I prefer life when it's my version. When, when something doesn't happen the way you want it to, just say it did and it's not so bad. It's, just, it's the way I've always been. I, I remember at school when I was six, the nativity play, uh, I, I, I was cast as the sheep and I really wanted to be Joseph, but I, I was cast as a sheep. And I, I don't know why, I went home and told my mum that I'd been asked to play the part of Joseph. <laughs> and and she, she was delighted. And for a couple of days, it, it, it felt great. But then for the next four weeks, I had to keep up the pretense that I was playing this lead role. And uh, I even rehearsed his lines in front of her uh, and everything anyway. A few days before the play, obviously, I had to tell her that I wasn't going to be playing Joseph after all. So I said I'd swapped with a boy who was playing a sheep because his pet sheep had died and he didn't like being. Wrong. I was doing a bit of a gig in this particular club in the middle of this Butlins type place. And I, I, I'd forgotten, completely forgotten, that when I'd rung the manager to get the gig, I had said that I do pyrotechnics in my act. Uh, again, a lie. I, I, I don't know why I said it. Uh, probably to make him think it was the kind of act that he would like to have. Just to make him like me, I suppose. Anyway, about an hour before the show, this health and safety bloke turned up at the... Basically, it was just a matter of calming him down. And then I seized my moment, overpowered him, and escaped. So, was there an actual fight, Rick? Obviously, I, I, I can't go in, into too much detail, but, um... Can you tell us about the weird pizza? Yeah, I, I, I don't know why he ordered all that stuff on it. it was, uh, I think he was just nervous, to be fair. I, I, I just ordered my, my usual American hot with extra mushrooms. <laughs> so, have you spoken to your wife yet? She's not... Actually, my wife, uh, we, we, we just live together because it's... Uh...